Okay, so lead code practice question. Um, so in this video, we have two goals. The first one is to see how to, how to solve this problem. And the second one is to see the interview process we need to follow uh, during your real interview, uh, given the specific question. So let's get, this, get started. So the first step, remember, it is always to try to understand what the problem is asking us asking us to do and uh, if there is anything that is unclear try to ask um, clarification questions and also think about the edge cases that could that we need to take special care of so let's see for this one binary tree vertical other traversal so give a binary tree return the vertical other traversal of its nose value from top to bottom column by column. So if two nodes are in the same row and column, the other should be from left to right. All right, so take this example. So we have tree something like this. That's going to return a list of lists. The first one has nine, and the second one, which is contains, contains all the numbers from this column, is 315, and then the next column which contains only one number 20 and same for the the last column all right so i think this one um uh, it's pretty clear to us let's see if there's any constraints okay so there's no constraints um so it means that uh, the root node could potentially be a num pointer so something like that so I would say if the root is a num pointer, definitely that's an edge case we need to uh, take special care of. So the next thing is about finding solution. So for this one, I think it's it looks pretty clear that we could use BFS to solve this problem. And it's going to be linear to the number of the nodes within the tree. Um, so I would say that regarding the runtime and the space, uh, it should be the best approach currently. Um, so, okay, space-wise, it's also linear to the number of the nodes, um, actually, because uh, we need to return uh, the, the result is linear to the number of the nodes within the tree. So the next part, after we communicate the solution uh, with the interviewer and discuss the runtime space analysis, uh, it's time for us to turn our idea into solid code. So in the coding part, we care about your uh, speed, your code uh, correctness, and of course, your readability. So let's give it a shot. So for this one, we will define a class. Let's say we use it, let's say it is node, and uh, it has uh, three things. So the first one is the tree node itself. Let's call it node, and the next uh, next one is uh, the column is the row number, which is the integer, and the next one is the column is the column number. So actually, um, as we, so as we, as we iterate through using the BFS, we don't actually need to keep record of the row number. That is because we are going to, uh, BFS is we iterate through the tree layer by layer. So it's guaranteed that we put, for example, for this one, it's guaranteed that we put three before uh, 15. But um, for, some, for, for this one, I think we, uh, we can keep the row number here. If, if it is redundant, uh, we can just uh, uh, remove this piece of code if we figure out it is useless. So we define a constructor. Tree node node and row in the call. Okay, so this dot node is equal to node. This dot row is equal to row, and uh, this dot column is equal to column. Okay. So um, 
um, actually, do we really need to define this node? Uh, what I was thinking is, okay, so I think we definitely need to do this. Um, yeah, we definitely need to do this. Otherwise, we don't know which uh, column it the, the tree node is in. All right, so let's see. For this one, uh, uh, for within the, the function, we need to implement First of all, if root is equal to none, uh, uh, actually we let's say list uh, list of the integer. Let's see, it's called uh, um, what do you call their traverse? So uh, let's just call it rt and uh, new uh, length list uh, list uh, Leo link list. Okay, and uh, if root is equal to none, just return ret without doing anything. And then it's the BFS process. Uh, so for BFS, uh, what we need to do is we need to define a queue first. So the queue is the underlying uh, implementation is the link list. And uh, first of all, you're going to put the root node into the queue. All um, and uh, actually at the same time, we need to keep track of, we need to define another data structure, which is a map. Um, so the map, the key of the map is a column number and the value is gonna be um, the list of the integers. Let's say it is list of the integer, which is uh, the value of the value of each tree node. So we would call it column, um, column. Let's say column, um, column wells math. Um, sure let's just call it column files map so it's new hash map okay and uh, let's and also we need to keep track of the minimum call column index um let's initialize a zero and the, the maximum column index let's initialize a zero it means um what is the minimum column index and what is a maximum column index? So well, q dot size. Okay, so it is empty. So well, it is not empty. So first of all, we need to get the size of the current q, and uh, we are going to iterate through it. So in i is equal to zero i is smaller than size plus plus i so there are so the number of the elements within the current layer is size so that's why we iterate from uh, i from zero to size so first element what we are going to do is we are going to pop the current node so we are going to say okay uh, q dot uh, pull, pull, pull the node from it and uh, assign to the node. So the row number would be equal to node dot row and call is equal to node dot call. Okay, so um, so now it's time for us to update the column values map. So if um, not call mouse map dot contains key uh, column. Then we will put a new list into it dot put call and new length list integer into it. And then we will say okay column wells dot map dot get call dot 
add the node dot node dot value okay so we finish uh, adding updating adding the number into call wells map it's time for us to visit the left child and the right child so if um, node dot node dot left is not equal to none it's not a none pointer then we will need to update the insert into the queue dot uh, add um, queue dot add a new node with uh, node dot node dot left and the column number is column minus one and the row number is row um, plus one so okay and uh, we will say okay if node dot node dot right if the right subtree is not none then we are also going to add into add it into the queue column plus one and the row plus one all right so uh I think that's mostly about it, updating the queue. And now it's time for us to update the main column index. Index is equal to mass dot main, um, main column index and uh, column, okay. Max column index is equal to mass, oh, oh dot max max column index and then it's a column okay and now uh, after we uh, we are done with the BFS we will need to um, update the RET with the things stored in column wells map so what we are going to do is we are going to iterate from the main column index to the maximum column index. Uh, max column index and the plus plus i. All right. So, um, so it, okay, so what we are going to do ret dot add so it is going to add a, a call wells map dot get i into it and finally we return ret so that's it about it uh is it possible that we don't within main column index and maximum column index we don't have certain columns uh, that's something maybe worth to think about so let's see so if if for a certain one it is missed what does it mean um, sh would it be possible I would say I don't really feel that is possible um, that is because uh, from the from the main column index to the max column index the tree would be something like so if the tree if the tree from the root uh, contains all so so because the tree uh like for the expansion of it it is for sure that uh, it will have the leftmost point and the rightmost point and you should be able to find the 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 so based on its parent parent node we should be go we should be able to see see all the index along the path uh, so i i think we don't need to uh, try to see if the if i is can is a definitely something within column wells map okay so i think that's pretty much done about the coding so the next part is about testing so for the testing part uh, use some uh, example to to go through this piece of code and explain how it works and uh, at the same time 
um, it's time to communicate with your interviewer um, to show your ability to explain the things. And also, after the sanity check, think about some other task cases to increase the task courage. So let's see, using the example one, uh, first of all, we initialize RAT as a empty thing and uh, it is not equal to none. So we are going to initialize column wells map and define main column index and max column index as zero. So we initialize the queue and add the root node into it. So um, Q, while Q is not empty, at the first layer, we only have one node, which is three. Uh, okay, so this one, uh, it, it should be, we add a new node to initialize root zero, zero. All right, so we fix this bug here. And uh, I, I so there's only one node. We, we pull the node from it and the row index is zero, column index is zero. And uh, it is not within, the column index is not within call valves map. So we are going to put key as zero and a new list of the integers into it. And then we are going to update the corresponding list with a number three. Um, sure. And uh, if node node, so this left subtree is not none, right subtree is not none. So we are going to push the left node with the column index as column minus one uh, okay, so it should be row, first of all, it is a row index, and then it is a column index. So, okay. That's another thing uh, we definitely need to fix. So, let's see. So, the row index for the left node, left child, is row plus one with column minus one co column index row and then row plus one column plus one okay for the right for the right node okay and then we try to update the main column index and the max, the col max column index so similarly we go through layer by layer and then finally we should have the map containing the in with key as the column index and the value of all the all the things uh, all the numbers uh, top down uh, within the within uh, top down uh, on this column all right and then we are going to iterate through every index and put it into the ret and the final return ret so i think it should be good let's give it a shot to see how it works Okay, so it's accepted. And uh, regarding the test case setup, I would say definitely set up a um, definitely set up an empty tree, which is uh, which is an edge case, and also think think about a, a something like example two because there is uh, there's there are two numbers with the same column index and the same row index. Um, so that's the time we visit our logic, whether for this kind of situation, we go, f we store the, the numbers from the left to the right. Um, yeah, so that's it for, for this question. Let's give it a shot. Okay. So it's accepted after submission. So I think we should be good about this question. So that's it for this uh, for this video. Uh, if you like it and help find it a bit helpful, please give me a thumb up, and uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.